$1.40 with the bookies. He comes in, ready to go for the opener, the Shojin Concrete. We're on a soft five, but the jumps track in the middle's a good four, and they're off and racing here now. And the four of them jump pretty much as one. Kudos to the starter, set you free. It's the judge. Uh, he's going up here to put his head in front. Now and Zen's going up to tackle him. Agreement's not too far away and traded goes back to be last of the four. So they've jumped the first of the nine obstacles in front of them. Not a problem in the world for this quartet. And it is set you free in the uh, in the red colours, which goes to the lead into the back, albeit narrowly. Now and Zen's in pretty close attendance. Third is agreement on the inside and traded is back three parts away at the tail end of the field. Not much more than a jiggy jog at the moment as they go into the back. And Now and Zen was taken to the front, as he was last time, and he's jumping to boo at the bull. He goes clear two lengths to set you free he'll sit up second for Paddy Flood third placing agreement on the inside and a half to trade it up on the outside and the orange fourth they've got a treble in the back straight and the first of those trebles coming up now and now and Zen with a year's prick comes to it and puts in a magnificent leap got over it by two and a half lengths to set you free agreement sticks with the inside and the paint and last of all traded but you still throw a blanket over them as they go to the second now and Zen in front for Allen he leads by a length and a quarter they've passed the 800 metres on the first round agreement is thrilled on the inside of set you free and trader will be the last one the third of the treble up the back now and zen had a good look not his best jump of the three but he got over it safely he's a length and a quarter to the good of for set you free on the outside of agreement they share second and traded as last of the quartet on the home turn of one of the most picturesque racetracks in the world it's now and zen with a lap and a quarter to go leading by a length second the outside is set you free the second favorite and third agreement on the fence and traded as last of the quartet so they square up for the judge a new one today Mr Heffernan went and retired on us and as they come to jump the uh, next one jump five the first in the home straight nouns in ran out at it a little bit he jumped it well he got a good look at it from agreement set you free and last of all was traded so they come down to the uh, straight past the stalls that let them go one lap ago and there's a circuit to go now in the Shojun concrete it's now and Zen in not much more than track wreck and uh, track work pace putting in a magnificent leap and skipping away to lead by a couple of links on agreement set you freeze third he's been happy to stalk now and Zen a bit and just stay behind him and the last one as they travel into the back is traded so four jumps left now in the Shojun concrete and punters have he pretty took the odds on at the moment they're feeling pretty happy with themselves Agreement's only three parts away and he's on the inside hind quarters of the favourite now and then. Then third on the outside was set you free and traded on the inside at the end. You'd still throw a blanket over the quartet. The jumping's about to begin again. They've got a treble in the back straight away in them. And now and then he's one from one over the jumps at the moment he's going for two for two he comes to the first of this treble pushed over it by Allen he's got a length and a quarter to spare he's just trying to put the pressure on agreement here and set you free and trade it who's coming through and there's only a length and a half between them as they jump the third last now and then the leader agreements up on his inside only a head away and it's race on set you free comes to the outside four out going around trade it now and then jumps the second last pretty well he extends his lead to half a length agreement the Kelly's had to go for the whip then trade it set you free he's not going well at the moment and now and then he's the leader agreement on his inside is trying to make an effort they're two lengths to trade it and set you free has gone but 400 meters to go now and Zen's only got one jump to get over and he's home he comes around the home turn a length and a half clear agreements trying very hard then traded set you free is going to run last now and Zen came to the last Alan took him over it pretty easily he's a length and a half in front Agreements on his inside. He's always been there doing his best and then traded, but now and Zim will make it two out of two. He'll win the show, John Concrete. He started the Warnable Carnival. He started the Castellan Cup Day. Now and Zim won by three. Agreement got second. I think a nose in advance of traded. And it's been a long season for Set You Free. And he might have had enough this time around. We'll see him next year. Easy to model for a turkey leg. Shane Jackson comes into line. Field set now. The Yarram Park maiden hurdle. They're on their way now. 
two laps of this beautiful race course and out wide Pryor Pateman showing a bit of urgency going towards the first. He'll jump it in front Pryor and he's going towards the top. Wollongong underneath him is booting him up that is booting up though. Not sure he wants to hold the front though. Legendary lads on the inside kicking up as well. Then Bilingual Boy, who's very wide out on the course as they go into that first turn. Wollongong and through the middle Archie Bar. They're a length and a half then to the good of Mr Schiller and he's in company with the Braxes. Two to Red Ross are followed by Thorpey, General Satine and Musi to model some five lengths away. The speed's good as they go into the back. Only one jump so far but they've got the treble on the, up the back coming up and Bilingual Boy worked around the outside and took it up. He's two lengths to the good of Archie Bar. Legendary lads on the inside and Pryor's in the middle nice and keen now as the leader Bilingual Boy didn't jump at all the best and Archie Barr is looking to take it up, take the front off him now. Legendary lad on the inside Pryor fourth and they're three links to Wollongong as they jump the next from Abraxas and then Mr Schiller, General Satine Red Rosser in the orange and two links to Thorpey and the last one as they travel down the back was his stablemate Musi to model so over the third of the treble and it's Archie Barr in front he leads them, he's jumped the first four and he's on top now, he stays all day he's a length and a half here to the good of Bilingual Boy, legendary lad on the inside running third, prize in four spot and then Abraxas inside of Wollongong next in the race, one further back to Mr Schiller and two to Red Rosser, General Satine two further back to the locals Thorpey second last and Musi to model at the end, they square up for the judge and it's Archie Bar, John Allen and Weir trying to go all the way like they did in the first they jump the one in the home straight two lengths clear from Bilingual Boy and Legendary Legendary lad. Pryor sits up on the outside fourth and it's Archie Bar, the pride of country racing coming down to the post to get a circuit to go, he's five lengths in front he's riding him like a Dow stay or two there's no waiting now on Archie, Archie Bar, he's trying to take the stuffing out of them, second Bilingual boy and third is Legendary Lad, fourth is Pryor and fifth is Wollongong, next on the inside of Braxis followed by Mr Schiller and two further back, in the race came Red Rosser, he's in company there with Thorpey now, then General Satine and last of all was Musi to model they go to the back here now and they've got four jumps left in the Yarram Park the front runner is Archie Barr by two to Legendary Lad. Third is Pryor and Bilingual Boy the outside. He's out wide again in the wobbles. Then Abraxas on the fence and further back to Wollongong about to make his move from Mr Schiller and two to Thorpey. Red Rosser then General Satine and Musi to model. So Archie Barr goes down the back. He's trying to run his rivals, Ragged Allen. He goes to the fourth last. Jumps it OK. Pryor gives chase. On the inside, Legendary Lad. He's a maiden. He hasn't won a race in anything yet, but he's running a good one today. Wollongong Travelled to fourth as they get over the third last. Then Abraxas. Thorpe is the only one really making any ground. It's Archie Barr. He's running along his last win. I think it was a 3,800 metre race at Wagga. He jumps the second last. Two lengths to Pryor. Legendary lad is third. Wollongong is fourth. And then followed further back in the race to Thorpe. Abraxas. Now Mr Schiller getting a wriggle on. It's Archie Barr. He's two lengths in front of Pryor being called upon. So too Wollongong and legendary lad. Then next in the race came Mr Schiller. He's got one left to jump, actually. He can go through a flattened panel, Archie Bar. I reckon he's home. He's three or four links to Pryor. Then legendary lad, Wollongong. Down the outside comes Mr Schiller. Archie Bar jumps the knocked over panel. He's clear. The country racing people are on the, off their seats. They're cheering for all life. Archie Bar, he stays like a mother-in-law. And he comes down to the post to take it out. The Yarram Park maiden hurdle, a double to Weir and Allen. He wins by seven links to Mr Schiller. who ran a great race. Third prior and fourth legendary lad, ditto. They're followed in by uh, finishing on the heels. Musi to model made up a stack of ground as well from a Braxis Thorpey. General Satine, Wollongong didn't get up the straight. Uh, he finished back with Red Rosser and just clocking in as Bilingual Boy. Field set. 20 live hedges await them. In the chase that stops Caston, and they're off and racing. Starter caught them well. The treble comes up in front of the crowd quite quickly and the mix star jumped out better than probably most and goes there with Rebuka in the middle and making a line of three in the small field over on the inside. 
was Big Ben Chimes. They come to the second. It's the mixed star from his stablemate, Big Ben Chimes. Rebuka in third, Manitone fourth. They get over that to treble and... After making a mess of the first, he survived to tell the story. Johnny Allen and Lake Erie four links away. Bring up the rear, so the first three of 20 negotiated. And they're trekking across the course now, where it is the Mig Star with the blue cap on and the famous Quinny Scott colours, which leads his stablemate in the second place in Big Ben Chimes. Manitone's gone up out wider around Rebuka and Lake Erie. The local knowledge not helping him at the moment. He's five links away at the tail end of the field. They've jumped number four, and they're going through the gap there at the 1,400 metre start with which will take them out of the open country where the Glenelg meets the Wannon and it is the Mig Star in front and he's chasing Dabu by two links on Big Ben Chimes and Manitone the favourites a neck away third Rebuka in the famous Karazi Colours was fourth and three links away to Lake Erie who brought up the rear first of them out there it wasn't a great leap by the Mig Star he hasn't got the front with the too much ground to spare as Manitone and Big Ben Chimes out jumped him over that jump then Rebuka and five links away to Lake Erie. There's five down now. Here comes the sixth, the second out there in the open country. And it's the Mig Star on top. A better leap that time. Led a half length on Manitone and Big Ben chimes underneath him. Rebuka's nice and handy in fourth placing. You could throw a blanket over the first quartet. And two links away for the Irishman. John Allen Lake Erie brought up the rear. They jumped the third of the treble. Now they're looking at the next one, which brings them onto the course proper and the Mig Star. He's having a good look around as he's headed by his stable mate, Big Ben chimes for the Gallywood winning jockey in Paul Hamlin and they stride together onto the course proper from Manitone in third and Rebuka the old veteran in fourth place and four links away to Lake Erie at the end. Here's jump number nine coming up. Nine of twenty and it's the Mig Star just in front of Big Ben chimes. Two links away Rebuka. Manitone's on the outside. He's jumping them okay now in fourth. And Lake Erie's five links away at the end. Here comes the tenth now, the twenty, which will mean they've jumped them all once. And up and over they go, and they've all jumped them safely. It's the Mig Star. He's having a good wander around still. He's seen a lap of the course. He's going to do it all again. He passed where he started from a lap ago, and he jumped the first of the treble in front of the crowd, leading by three quarters now, length on his table mate, Big Ben Chimes. Manitone's one away third. Rebuka, the old veteran, he's as old as me, Dad. Tucked away on the inside, running fourth. And I reckon Alan Jumper's good too. Five lengths to Lake Erie at the tail end of the field. They trek across the course now once again, heading for the open country. There's 13 being jumped and there's seven left to go. And it is the Mig Star and he's chasing Dabu, leading his stablemate Big Ben Chimes. Manitone, the race favourite, our special of the day, is up on the outside third. Rebuka, the veteran, tucked away in fourth. And Lake Erie was the next one. There's the 14th. It's Big Ben Chimes going through here to take up a narrow lead on his stable mate the Mig Star Rebuka he's you know he's won he's having his 38th jump start today he's won six of them he's in third placing with Manitone and five links away to Lake Erie in fact as they go to with the next one which is jump number 15 again it's Big Ben Chimes and also the Mig Star they came together in the float with not much between them and there's not much here now after 15 jumps it's only a half neck in fact in third placing Manitone fourth Rebuka and five links away to Lake Erie who brought up the rear what I was going to say 68 starts between them seven wins Rebuka's won six of them but it's race on here now Manitone going up to put the pressure on the Quinney Scott stable mates Rebuka's only a length away and four links to Lake Erie it's the Mig Star just in front of Big Ben Chimes. Manitone didn't jump as well as them. He's lost a length there over the next. Rebuka's going okay on the inside, the old veteran. And five links away to Lake Erie. It's a line of four in the chase to the third last now. And they're back onto the course proper, in fact, with two to go. It's the Mig Star just. Manitone's putting the pressure on. Oh, Rebuka nearly sold out. Big Ben Chimes is battling. So one jump left and then through the gap. The Mig Star just. Manitone for favourite Backers is coming after him. They're three lengths to Big Ben Chimes. Over the last they go. Manitone took a narrow lead on the Mig Star. They're coming through the laser gap. There's not much in it. The Mig Star and Manitone. Manitone the outside. He drove to the lead. He's timed his run to perfection. Turkey legs. Manitone's going to win the chase at Cassidy by three lengths to Mig Star. Eight away third. Big Ben Chimes. Fourth in was Lake Erie. Fifth was Rebuka, and they all were away, all got around a safe and sound in a thrilling chase, thanks to Caston and Ag Machinery and Phil Pollard and Co from Caltex.
Field is set. Caston and Third Works open seven days, eight till eight. They're racing in the cup. Peace and Quiet jumped nicely. He's going for the lead early. Bling Dynasty away safely, and so too coming across Stable Star. Sandhill Chief looking for a sit, and then followed by Wheat Chief Flyer and Gold Medals. Woke one from the White Alley continuing to press on and try and come across, and Angelology is wider trying to do the same. They come to the judge with a circuit to go. Peace and Quiet had the front. Woke one went up out three deep, Stable Star in the middle, and four deep went Angelology. Sandhill Chief, Wheat Chief Flyer. Gee, they uh, swung deep out of the straight there. Also having to swing deep was. Uh, order and they're followed next by Welcome Ned who follows the inside and Bling Dynasty and Gold Medals is in the middle Counting Costa is back fourth last in front of Oerda now and then McCarthy Road and the last of all was It's All About Harry. Travelling into the back to speed. Good in the cup where Peace and Quiet's fired up a little. He leads by a neck to Wake One who's trying to look him in the eye and they're two links to Stable Star third three away in fourth placing then was Sandhill Chief and Angelology getting in closer in fifth spot. One and a quarter to Wheat Chief Flyer. Then Welcome Ned who's over on the inside of Bling Dynasty and Tudor Counting Costa in company with gold medals and a word hook to the outside they were followed by well, uh, McCarthy Road who's back second last and it's all about Harry as the last one Peace and Quiet leads coming off the back in the cup skipped away to lead two and a half links to Woke Wine Stable Star third Sandhill Cheap fourth at the 600 and then Angelology Wheat Chief Flyer followed by Welcome Ned and Bling Dynasty a mile back Oerda starts a run now Gold Medals trying to follow it into the race Counting Costas in a traffic jam then Carthy Road and it's all about Harry last Peace and Quiet Woke Wine's having another go at it then Stable Star into the clear running on so is Wheat Chief Flyer Sandhill Chief Oda's coming right down the outside with gold medals as Woke Wine bursts to the lead Stable Star's having the last shot at it it's Woke Wine the leader in the cup Stable Star's got alongside Woke Wine Stable Star went up to hit the lead and the aptly named Stable Star raced away with a casted and third works casted and cover length and three quarters on Woke Wine counting Costa has got a hard luck tail or two or three to tell he charged in a third when he got out from gold medals then welcome Ned peace and quiet wheat chief flyer Carthy wrote a word of followed in then by Sandhill chief bling dynasty it's all about Harry and Angelology